and that was a tough game to swallow. Um, you know, I think everybody would like to point and say, you know, it's this play or that play, um, but there's plays all over the field. And, uh, you know, as a coach, you go back and watch the tape and you see even more and more and more um, of, of just like, wow, uh, we really did give away. And again, we can point to the penalties, um, we can point to, you know, a slide, we can point to some, you know, just crappy coverage. Um, and, uh, you know, in that, you know, last 40 seconds, I guess, uh, in the second two minutes that our defense was involved in that, you know, you didn't want to be involved in uh, on a short field again, um, which puts the defense in a, in a rough spot. Um, but, you know, with a 21-yard penalty um, and a 32-yard punt, you know, instead of starting at the 50, they could have started at the old minus 21 and put the numbers together, um, which I have. So um, it was just a rough night. I mean, you know, you, you know, you take the first, second, third quarter out of it, um, you know, just really what happened in that fourth quarter. Uh, just not something I've been accustomed to. Uh, usually, we pit, we finish. And, uh, and again, our guys gave great effort. Um, there was no lack of effort out there. It was just, you know, you know, I don't know if it was focus or what, but we just didn't play like we should play, not like a pit football team. Um, you know, continue to be disappointed with the way we rush, uh, or excuse me, stop the rush, uh, stop the run. Um, you know, my record defense last week. The last three years, I guess, you know, we've been spoiled. We've been number one in the ACC in rushing, the top ten in rushing defense, and, and we're at six right now, I believe. Um, but that's like a far, far, you know, difference from what we've been at. That's, I guess, you know, some of the frustrations I have uh, defensively. And then offensively, you know, we were two-dimensional. Um, you know, I wish we rushed for more than, you know, what we rushed for, but, you know, throw for 300 yards. Um, you know, we just had drive killers that, you know, uh, could have rushed for 200 if we blocked better. And, 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 and get to the right guy and do the right thing. And there's times we're not doing that, uh, which is stop and runs. Stop and runs on fourth and one. Uh, you know, but the drive killers, or whether it's fourth and one or fourth and four, you don't get it, or you you don't block the right guy on a, on a certain run play. It doesn't get the run game going. So those are some of the frustrations, really, uh, both having to do with the run game, not the pass game. Um, so um, that's kind of kind of where it is. Uh, but you know, just lack consistency uh, across the board. Lack consistency in our punting. We'll point to that. I mean, there's just there's plays all over the place. It's not just that the, the slide or you know or the penalties. It's it's like they're all over the place. It's not just and again. That's why you know it's a team game. That's why it's you know played four quarters. Not you know we just go play the last two minutes of the game and see who wins. Um, it's it's all over the place. The entire game um, that we got to continue to get better. And I think we are getting better. Um, but uh, you, know, we, you know we certainly didn't show it maybe uh, Saturday. Questions? Pat, uh, do you think maybe the, the slide rule should be reviewed considering? The Florida State game, Jordan Travis was farther from the first time marker than Tristan was mm -hmm. in the game the first time. I think so. I mean, first of all, the slide rule is to protect the quarterback, okay? Protect the quarterback trying to protect himself. It's not for an official to determine when he started the slide and all that stuff. But it would, would have not been nice if the you know, officials would go and look at the little TV there and go, okay, let's, let's, let's be sensible here. Um, the kid was being smart. He wanted to stay in bounds. Um, so I give that, and you know, wish he take two, you know, a couple more steps, or whatever. And you know, but it is what it is. And, and to me, it's still a first down, but like, you know, it's over. You, you said you felt like you made a rookie mistake and not diving for it. Did you look back? When you look back at it, you think that it was just kind of like, hey, that's what most quarterbacks would do. That's what most quarterbacks would do. And, you know, and, and talking to, and again, I'm no quarterback guru. And uh, Coach Signet brought up a good point. I said, can he just dive forward instead of backwards? You know, he's that what fumbles happen. I mean, you're probably right. I mean, we, the other thing would have been worse is Dan Gordon falling on the ground. So uh, you see most quarterbacks are going to slide feet first. Bostic, you know, true or false, Bostic? I never ran that far. He never ran that far. He couldn't <laughs> get the sticks, so it didn't matter. Uh, but, you know, there's just, you know, like I said, there's, you know, there's different things. And, again, he was being smart. He did what he was supposed to be. He thought he was clearly beyond the line, and, and it looked like he was. So just leave it as it is. There's a lot of other plays out there. Pat, you guys had 13 penalties per 100 yards, but now beyond just this game, you guys have the most penalties, the most penalty yards in the ACC. What do you guys have to do as coaches and, as play and your players to fix that? But sometimes you feel hated on them, okay? And I don't share these with you. Um, I don't share these with you uh, weekly about what goes into the ACC office, and I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to talk about what comes back, what, you know. But uh, sometimes you feel like you're, you know, it just needs to be called both ways. And sometimes you feel like it's not as a coach, um, but. I'll just talk about our penalties. You know, I brought a sheet in here just because we, we talk about it all the time. Defensively, we had four aggressive penalties and two selfish. You know, you guys know what we call selfish penalties when it's just like, you know, about, you know, 
it's just not good, selfish. Uh, you know, the two by, you know, Donovan, who's apologized 10 times to me since the, the end of the game. He's crying after the game. I mean, he didn't mean to do it. He's, you know, just pulled a guy off the pile. It was a, it was a penalty, um, what he did. You know, I don't know if the second one was real. Um, it looked like, you know, someone, you know, threw a shoulder into him, but, like, I'm not the official, you know, players play, coaches coach, and officials officiate. Uh, we had three defensive holdings, which, again, to me, it's a go both ways. I just, you know, I, I don't know how to officiate it. I don't know how to, I don't know how to coach anymore, I guess. And we had a face mask. Uh, offensively, we had five false starts. One, two, three, four, five false starts. Um, again, one is, you know, one, we weren't going to run a play on fourth down and five, okay? Uh, but receiver covered up the tight end, tight end in his hand. Now, I'm not worried about that one. You can throw that out. And the penalty yards, penalty yards. If we're going to punt it, we're taking a delay game anyway. We're going to try to get them to jump off sides. You know, we had, you know, uh, three offensive tackles go off sides. Two young guys just got to got to be better there. And uh, then we have you know a, a quarterback's got to wait for a receiver to get set up you know, to line up on a quick. We call it you know I won't tell you what it's called. But we come out and have a quick get lined up and run the play. You know if I'm really the quarterback, not letting the receiver get lined up fast enough. And then uh, you know, we took a delay game on defense to punt the ball or on punt on punt uh, just to back it up. Um, you know, we're going to snap it in. We, were, we ate up 25, 30 seconds off the clock that play. We had, you know, a center, or excuse me, a guy in a new position uh, lined up off the line of scrimmage on our field goal team. So um, they're unforced, uh, they're unfortunate, um, and then there's some, you know, aggressive ones, which we're going to be aggressive. Uh, you just, you know, I've just never seen so many of them. So I don't know what else to tell you. How did you coach your players to fight through, to get to stay focused? You, you, if that's the case, you feel like you're not getting both ways and then those calls. How do you coach them to stay focused despite those moments? Well, I think that's what they've done. I mean, you know, and again, you can't get emotional uh, like Donovan did. And it's an emotional game, and you know, trying to protect them. Game, like you know, it's like just stay away. Uh, but besides the, the the emotional one there on one play, uh, which cost us 21 yards. Um, you know, you just got to keep your cool and, and play ball. You know, I don't think our guys get emotional when they, you know, what happens to them. I mean, you go back and watch AJ Woods. I mean, you know. He's on there. It's a tiny little tug, and the guy is jamming. And supposedly, when you lock your arm out, it's supposed to be called as offensive pass interference, but it doesn't get called. So I don't know. You know, but if someone's pushing me off, I'm grabbing on. You know, for dear life too. So, um, it, you know, does, does it bother you that all this is happening in the seventh game of the season? It bothers me when it happens in the first game and the seventh but game. It'll bother me even more because the last time I was in Notre Dame, it happened in the whatever game. You know, on a, on a close to middle field. So it bothers me every game. You think we figure by now some of these families? You hope so, but every game's a different game on the road, and you know different stuff is happening to you. People are stemming. I mean, you know, they got a guy <laughs> clapping on the on the on the. Uh, you know, we're trying to punt the ball. We clap. Cadence is supposed to be a violation. <laughs> we'll go back and watch their. You know, their linebacker forty five is clapping. But there's no call. You know, um, I don't know why, but just you know, luck of the draw, I guess. Overall, how would you evaluate Christians? Performance slide aside, Christian, I thought played a pretty solid game. I mean, he took what the defense was giving him. He made some nice throws. Um, you know, he had a couple where you know, you know, we'd say you know, uh, mentally don't go there, go there. Uh, a couple of those, which I don't know if a quarterback's ever gone through a game and had ones where he didn't have a couple of those. But I think you know, he got better from the first game to the second game. I mean, he started off, you know, he started off. I don't know what it was, seven for seven or eight for eight or whatever it was. I mean, he was he was on fire. Uh, you know, they changed some stuff up, and but you know, he made plays when he needed to. And uh, again, we got to convert more first downs. I mean, I think we had three three and outs this past weekend, the week before. Does anybody remember how many we had? Seven, I remember. So, you know, when you look at stuff like that, we're moving. You know, we won the time possession the week before we didn't. We got you know crushed with it because you're going three and out seven times. You're not gonna, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna struggle that way. Um, but uh, so they're getting better little by little. And, um, you like to eliminate the, you know, it's penalties, it's, it's, you know, a messed up coverage, you know, you know, not executed properly. It's, you know, and then not blocking the run game. And there's, there's, like I said, there's stuff everywhere. I'm, you know, sitting there trying to plug holes everywhere. And that's kind of where we are right now at this point. And obviously you'll be challenged by Notre Dame. What, what can you do defensively? Is it personnel changes or to improve that rush game quickly? Um, maybe, um, maybe, you know, we're, you know, looking at everything, but, uh, you know, every <coughs> offense gives you a little bit different. And again, you know, give uh, Wade credit. They did some different things, you know, that we really didn't prepare for. They lined up in the pistol more than we've seen them. New quarterback, 
you know, they did some things different that he didn't practice as much for, practice a little bit more of other things that, you know, they didn't do. We didn't know who the quarterback was going to be. I uh, didn't really know there was an even issue uh, with, with the starting quarterback. Um, so prepared for him and then to have really a totally different guy in there. Um, and again, they switched the run game up a little bit. But, uh, you know, we got to execute. And again, you know, we, we haven't forgot how to coach defense and how to stop the run. Okay, that's what we do. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, it's like I said, you know, we got to coach better, we got to get it out of them, and they got to learn better and execute better. I and mean, that's what it comes down to. Jay came in that second half, it seemed like he was playing with the cigar, and Terrence still the center. What do you like about that? that you know, we'll look at it. I mean, you know, Jake was back and Blake was back. Um, so we had really four guards that played for us. And we're just trying to find the best combination now. Uh, I think they're all back you know, healthy, or at least close to being healthy right now. So uh, I can't tell you I like anything yet, but keep looking. From what you've seen of Sam Hartman. Hey, so he protected the quarterback, too. How many sacks do we give up? Zero. Zero. That's like, you know, that's big time. From what you've seen from Sam Hartman this year, how has he evolved as a passer since the last time you saw him, which I believe was the ACC championship in 21? Yeah, um, you know, obviously totally different offense. He's in a pro-style offense. He's actually huddling up and taking snaps under center. So you've seen him progress to more of a, you know, if he's going to play in the NFL, it's going to have to be in that type of offense, not what they're doing at Wake Forest. So, you know, I think he's probably enjoyed it uh, just because, you know, you know, I think it's every, you know, childhood kid's dream to, to play in the National Football League. And he's going to have an opportunity just by being able to, you know, make run checks, sit underneath the center, and, and do all the things that they ask him to do there. Um, you, know, you know, I think he'll have obviously a better opportunity, you know, uh, in that, that, you know, atmosphere and circumstances. So, um, you know, he throws the ball well. I mean, he's, he's a calm guy. He can run. He can scramble. Um, he's still a great athlete, so you, you, know, you, know, you don't see anything you know, abnormal there. Again, they, you know, again, we haven't really talked Notre Dame, so we'll get into Notre Dame. Um, obviously, Mark Stream has done an outstanding job here, I think, in his second season. And, um, they got a talented team when you put the tape on, you watch those you know, shiny gold helmets, man, they fly around, they look good. Uh, those are probably as good looking team you're going to walk out on, on game day and see. Um, and uh, and they, they play fast. All the receivers, Look like tight ends. They were in 80s numbers too, which disguise them. You're not sure how many tight ends. Are, you know, they play with four tight ends at times in formations, and they'll go all the way to play with four wideouts. Tailbacks are athletic, and you got Hartman. And defensively, Al Gore's running the defense. Um, and and uh, you guys know Al from back in Miami. Uh, it was in the league for a while, uh, but uh, great coach. He's done a great job with their defense. Uh, but again, four down. They're all physical. They're all fast. You know, you know, I can't sit there and focus on one guy because it's a, there's 11 of them. They're as talented, you know, a football team as you're going to face out there. Uh, so we'll have our hands full. I uh, have, you know, a lot of guys on that staff that I know. Uh, Start with Mike Bacon's coach in the corner. You guys saw him. Uh, so we, we had a nice little reunion there. Max Bulla, one of our linebackers, is there on that staff as well. And Gino Gadulli, old Cincinnati quarterback, quarterback coach. So there's some familiarity with their staff as well. And, um, you know, it'll be a great challenge for our guys to go to South Bend. You know, I think they're fired up last night to, to close the chapter and, and move on. What is you know, Sebo's been playing well the last couple of weeks, um, and uh, you know, again, he's you know, he's, you know, he's, he's also you know, helping lead our, our football team as far as just being a leader. Uh, he's I think he stepped up with the, the absence of Mac and Salves. You know, he's, he's become a really you know, kind of got some natural uh, leadership skills to him. Um, our guys have you know, uh, really bought into you know what he's all about. He plays his tail off. I mean, he'll be on any special team. So he's, he's played hard. Um, you know, you know, Rodney didn't start, but Rodney, he's good too. We like them both. You know, go with your hot hand. And, um, and you know, I think even late in the game, Coach Powell tried to put Rodney in the game. And he's like, Coach, he's hot. Let him go. He was kind of like, oh, he's kind of shocked by that. You know, uh, kind of an unselfish move by him. But I would have liked to got him more snaps the other day. Because uh, I think he's special as well. So we're just, you know, we're going to play the hot guy. and. You know, maybe Rodney rushes for 150 this week. It seems like it's been favoring Sebo for a few weeks, though. Is it just, it's just been the hot hand for the last three, yeah, four games? I mean, it's like, you know, anybody in the country, I mean, you know, Notre Dame plays four tailbacks. I mean, they play, you know, they play four of them. I and mean, they all got, you know, 20-some plus snaps at tailback. And, um, you know, they got two, you know, really that are getting the majority of them. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think we're different anyway. You want to get your tailbacks reps. You want to get, make them all feel comfortable. They all can be, you know, they're all ball players. 
Uh, you never know when, but if you have one tailback that's getting 200 snaps and the other guy gets three, you know, so the first guy gets hurt, you got this guy never rushed the ball before. Uh, we won't have that problem. So I think, you know, it's a natural thing, but you're going to play who's hot, who's blocking well, and, uh, and who you feel comfortable with, you know, based on you know, the flow of the game. Has Sebo shown you and your staff the stuff that you expected out of him when you were looking at him on the portal last year? Or has he grown more? He's gotten better. I mean, I think, you know, he's, he's, he's obviously grown up a lot on and off the field. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's doing what we thought he could do. I mean, but, he, you know, he had a motor last year. So I can't, you know, it's just he understands the offense more now. I think he's more comfortable just like anybody would be in their second year of a new offense. It's totally different from what they were doing at the other place. So, um, you know, he, he's, he's done a nice job. I'm impressed. Like I said, he, you're never going to question that guy's effort. Uh, he, he's got a motor. As good a motor as anybody on a football team. Uh, if I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Did Bob Lewis lose it make the trip in one Yeah. Can you tell us why? Banged up. Not out for the year. Who else did you say? Kyle Lewis? Lewis. Lewis. Was, was Lewis there? Lewis was not there. And yeah, then, you know, we lost Solomon to Shields in the first half. And I tell you what, you know, Jordan Bass for a freshman um, in base defense. And, you know, and I didn't really realize, you know, when you think about how you know, your third down package. Uh, you know, we were we were very good on third down, and, and, and poor Jordan Bass is starting on that team too. You know, uh, you know I, I didn't you know, take take into account the uh, effect there, but you know, you know we had a lot of walkthroughs with fall camp. There wasn't one walkthrough that uh, Jordan Bass spent in you know, third down at all because it's like that's way too much. Let's just get you to be um, good with your base defense. But Jordan Bass played well. I, I was impressed with him for his first game. Uh, he's only going to get better. Uh, we got to get Miles going this week as well. I think. Uh, but Jordan Bass, you know, for playing four plays last year, uh, last week on defense, and then having 51 plays on defense, you know, it's way too many. But that's kind of what we were, that was what we were under. And, uh, and it cost us at the end of the game, too. It wasn't necessarily his fault. Uh, but, um, you know, I would have hoped we would have adjusted a little bit better what we did. Um, but, you know, play with young guys, sometimes they're, they're not going to be perfect. They're not even getting close to perfect. Our guys that played four or five years are perfect. Um, but uh, yeah, I was impressed with the way Jordan Bass played, pulled the trigger, and made plays. Can Jordan and Rasheed have to spend some more playing time in the football? There's no question about it. I mean, Jordan's going to get more playing time, period. He's only going to keep getting better. And, you know, just based on injury, we've got to get Miles ready to go as well. Pat, back on Christian, he was 10 of 14 for over 130 yards and a touchdown on third downs. His ability to, to stretch the field with, with his arm seem to give you guys extra boost in your passing game. Have you had, has, that, has his success maybe forced you guys to reevaluate different concepts or different things that you might call with more frequency to open that up more and give your receivers more chance? No question about it. You know, and, you, know you, you say that, um, you know, our receivers are catching the ball well, too. I mean, they're catching the football. Um, and, um, you know, there's no question about it. We're going to get, but again, we're going to take what Notre Dame is going to give you or, you know, the next opponent after that is going to give you. Um, but you know we got pretty, you know we got confidence that uh, you know that he can throw the ball and, and uh, he's getting out quick and he, like I said he's going to keep getting better every week I think. Chris referenced third downs. Chris playing really well. There are a couple of long third downs that he converted on. What makes him able to you know, perform in those situations where there's a lot of pressure? As well? You know that's what quarterbacks are supposed to do, right? They all have to do that. But uh, you know he's done a good job going through his progressions and knowing where to go based on the coverage. You know, that's that's the name of the game is you know looking over here okay they got that boom we're coming back here he's able to come back to you know his second or third read and, and uh, he's done a nice job what about uh, one or two more anyone else did you um you notice the team's mood any different grumpy so, grumpy yeah grumpy kind of like i was grumpy yesterday it's a 24-hour grump you know you can't be grumpy for 24 hours and you know uh, you got problems, but nobody's happy. That's you know that's what we, we talked about last night. There's nobody in happy. I feel bad for you guys. Nobody wants to go through it. No, nobody wants to go through it like we had to take it. You know, I think it's easier to get beat by 25 points than to to, to take that one on the end when you you know you think you had a chance. But again, and you still didn't play good. Like I still look at it. And go, at the end of the game doesn't even matter. I'm still pissed about the first quarter, the second quarter, the third quarter with the things we didn't do. And, um, and again, it comes down to execution. It's a game of execution. And it comes down to consistency. You can't show me you can do it really good here, and then you can't do it here. It just that drives me nuts. Okay. That, that said, the other thing to say about your conversation with the ACC people, huh. Jerry. You know, with that, we'll move to Chris Carter. He's got the last one. Your your, your question don't count. Not yet, and I won't share it with you anyway.
your, your guys' pass rush up front, it wasn't able to get home as a late late in the game. What has to be better, especially when you're down guys? AJ Woods was the guy that really did the most pressure. Yeah, you know, great question. You know, great question. I mean, I think AJ Woods had three sacks. Okay, so um, you know, we're not who we were last year or the year before. And we know we lost some dudes up there. You know, I think Sammy O is coming on, but you know, our details up there as well. Uh, I know Coach Parker is working on it, but you know, our stunts and I, you know, I kind of started talking about it a little bit earlier. You know, Bass was in the run some stunts and he's getting smushed out of there. I mean, he looked like those that, those wagons on wheels there. You know, playing you know playing an a gap, a gap or b gap and. Um, and again, it really wasn't fair to him. I mean, he's not done many of those. I'm just shocked he got near where he was supposed to be. Um, again, we should have done a better job of adjusting that, to be honest with you. So uh, we will the next time, I guarantee you that. But, uh, you, know, um, you, know, you, you know, you have regrets as coaches, so that's a coaching you know, thing that we should have fixed. But, uh, uh, but when you look at it, um, you know, we got to be better. You know, our stunts just don't look as clean. We're not, you know, we just got to clean things up detail with a bunch of guys that maybe haven't done a bunch of work. Young up front, and you look at the guys, Sammy, you know, Jimmy, you know, Jimmy, uh, Scott is in there on that last series playing left end, and day on his nose, just trying to get more speed on the field. And, um, and uh, I'm trying to think, you know, Sammy, Jimmy, and, and day on with three guys in on that last series. So uh, we, we got to be we got to be better with our pass rush and, and, uh, and contain the quarterback too, because in that last series, I mean, look, first and second down were good in the last series. Third down, you know, it's bad coverage. Won't get into it. And then, and then uh, the uh, the fourth and one, bad coverage. Won't get into it. And then they got a first down goal. And again, we don't get a rerun on the tight end. You know, we kind of hang out, you know, McIntyre, um, and they throw a touchdown pass. Uh, so, name of the game. Coach, thank you very much. Maybe we can talk well, after we both retire. Oh yeah, we'll have a major conversation. <laughs> I gotta, when I retire, oh, I got details. Long way off. I can wait. A <laughs> <laughs> cup of coffee. Well, yeah, bye. 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 Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Uh,